FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Let's get to Stacey on the right who was watching the speech. I mean, Stacey, I don't know. I gathered this from some of my friends, some of whom are very active in politics and in, in our discussions and things like that, they couldn't even watch the thing. And they said, listen, I'll just listen to you guys in the morning and I'll, I'll let you guys watch it for me. So that's how we work. She had a debate, not, and not debate like serious debate, but it was kind of like a back and forth on uh, text messages last night with some friends who were literally trying to psych themselves into watching it for a couple of minutes and went in, watched it for a couple of minutes, and then were texting back can't do it, going to have to try to listen on CNN or something, so you hit, you hit the C- CNN or C-SPAN, listen to it for a while, they come back, I, I can't do it, who's, who's taking one for the team that's going to listen to this whole thing? And I was like, I'm on Almond in the morning tomorrow, so between that and, you know, I guess we just don't have to watch it, everybody starts sending back gifts and everything, like, thank God, people falling out, people passing out. It's ridiculous. How could we possibly subject ourselves to eight years of Hillary Clinton kind of yell talking into a microphone with that voice and the face, Jamie, and you know, it's not oh. really about the way people look, but I know. she looks like she's like, what's going on on the inside of that person? What is it? She seems very angry to me. I don't know. I, and maybe it's my bias, but she seems very angry and edgy to me. She makes me exceedingly uncomfortable. I feel like she's going to stab me. Well, and did, did we not hear how dark Donald Trump's, view of America was. Last night, we heard Hillary Clinton actually put on um, some of the slogans from previous presidential candidates that are on the Republican side. She talked about not letting anyone tell you that this country isn't uh, great. I mean, really? So is, is, is what Americans are suffering through right now really about what other people are telling them? Or is it about the policies of Barack Obama, which she will just extend and put on hyperspeed? That, that's what she outlined last night. And this whole convention all week long, it was a parade of errors, Jamie, just mistake after mistake after mistake. They, they take for granted that the people in that room who are their hardcore supporters represent the rest of America. Most Americans were horrified by what they saw, the, the lack of American flags. It was the optics, number one. Oh, yeah. The wall around the bottom of the stage, Jamie. Can you imagine the Republican National Convention with a wall like that around the bottom of the stage to keep... Republicans from rushing and, right. and hurting. I mean, it was just there was so much about it that was wrong. Well, and, 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 and Stacey, the content was so edgy and terrorizing. I felt like at the end of the speech, instead of balloons dropping from the ceiling, there'd be buckets of blood and she'd be holding a knife like Carrie. I mean, that, that's how I felt. <laughs> you just feel like anything's possible. And, and of course, there was uh, the guy from American Sniper. He was in the audience and everyone was talking about the fact that he was there. And I actually thought the big deal with him being there was the look on his face. It was like he was uh, horrified by whatever <laughs> that was going on when they caught that picture. He was horrified by it. And he, he seemed, the, the, the look was almost disorientation, like, where am I? It was, it was pretty epic. His face is what we should focus on. Someone should ask him, what did you hear just then? Like, what were the Democrats saying to you just then? Well, and their lack of originality was so apparent from the very beginning when, for instance, you had all these people. I suddenly saw people, like, holding flag poles with flags on them, waving them around and going, You're, they're holding them like live hand grenades, like they've never seen the thing before. And then signs that say USA. There was no originality from there on, even in her speech, where, for instance, she adopted both Trump's and Sanders' view on trade. If you believe that we should say no to unfair trade deals, that we should stand up to China, that we should support our steel workers and auto workers and homegrown manufacturers. Oh, come on. I mean, she's that has never been part of her campaign before Trump's speech and before Sanders made his last stand. So she, she didn't write that, Jamie. Jamie, she didn't write that. that that's, those weren't her words. She spoke those like stuff she just read just then. She, would, she didn't even prepare herself for that part. The, this, the part that I think Americans ought to be focused on is Hillary's plans to increase our taxes. You know, Americans for Tax Reform, I know you've interviewed the people from there. And I know one of your big issues, as is mine, is how working people, middle class people, and people who earn a lot of money and drive our economy are being taxed out the wazoo. 
when Hillary Clinton has formally proposed a $1 trillion net tax increase, which includes an income tax increase of $350 billion, a 28% cap on itemized deductions, a business tax increase, and a fairness tax increase, which is nothing but socialism in a tax form. No doubt. I mean, it, it, it was also in a situation where, keep in mind, the, the in terms of the content that we just brought up there regarding trade, she, we, we're just a day off of an individual who came up and stumped for her, who is a dyed-in-the-wool addicted globalist like Barack Obama, who never met a trade deal that he wouldn't sign off on that put workers in peril. And she goes up there and pretends that she's interested in building our economy. I'm, I could just imagine uh, Obama saying, you didn't write that. You somebody, didn't build that. Somebody else wrote that for somebody you. Else <laughs> somebody else Somebody else did that for you. That's like you know, crazy. I, yeah, they they have they have speech writers, and obviously you and I are being slightly facetious when we say oh, yeah. you know, that we don't believe she wrote it. But the the bigger deal here is authenticity, and Americans at this stage, especially reeling with all of the terror attacks around the globe, it's hard to believe that this woman understands trade, that she's fair on taxes, that she wants to drive the economy, that she can protect us from ISIS. If Barack Obama can't do it, how can she do it? She couldn't protect four lives at the Benghazi embassy. She certainly can't protect 312 million Americans in this country who right now are clinging. We are clinging to our guns. We are clinging to our religion. Thank you very much, Barack Obama. And what we don't want is someone to come in who's already said she'll take the guns, she'll tax us, she'll destroy our trade, take more jobs out of America. She's contradicting herself. She said she'd just destroy fracking. She's proud of all of the coal-fired plants that have closed. The businesses, like right here in, in our State, Peabody Energy, that are reeling from the EPA's attack on them. These are people who live in neighborhoods that we are a part of, Jamie, who are no longer employed because of Barack Obama and his EPA. So if you're thinking that you've got to vote for the pantsuit, you've got to vote for the first lady part, you've got to think again. Think about your neighbors. Think about people who you know who are now out there struggling because of the Obama administration's policies, she will just continue that. It's interesting, Stacey, how people like Nancy Pelosi, a horrible woman she who is. will get up there and talk about pe- people clinging to their guns and their religion, and they'll use that attack specifically for Americans, but won't tell that to ISIS. I find that interesting how they reserve their harshest criticism for American citizens and not Muslim jihadists. And it's interesting oh because they're clinging to their guns and their religion just right, thank you very much. And they don't, they don't talk about that. So we'll be loving turning into you this weekend for sure for your show because I know you're going to break this all down. And one thing that bothers me, though, Stacey, and you and I don't have time to banter about it, is they did these instant voter things. Mm-hmm. And uh, Republicans gave Hillary a C-, minus, which is very disturbing to me because that was an F. By yeah, any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I can't believe Republicans would even have her in the average minus category. That's stunning and disturbing. Stacy on the right, at Stacy on the right, on Twitter, StaceyOnTheRight.com. Thank you, Derek.